So today we're going to simplify Wi-Fi 6 for you and how Wi-Fi 6 is really changing the game and why you should upgrade. Don't you just hate it when you're at home just chilling out, just hanging out and you have your phone, maybe browsing through some YouTube videos and it just hangs, it just starts buffering and buffering and what do you do? You turn off your Wi-Fi and you start doing this, searching for the signals, I can't get any. Oh, finally it connected and then you can browse your videos. Well, Wi-Fi has come a long way and recently with its new improvements in Wi-Fi 6, you're gonna wanna know the benefits. So there's different versions of Wi-Fi. So let's start with Wi-Fi 4. where an access point or a Wi-Fi router will connect to a single device. So that means your router could only talk to one device at a time. If you think about it, that's super inefficient, but it's the way of the past. So let's give you an example. So on Wi-Fi 4, if you were watching uh, Netflix on TV, for example, and your kid had an iPad and maybe she was watching Peppa Pig, your Wi-Fi 4 device would have to connect to your TV, send data to that, and then send data to your kid watching Peppa Pig. So in today's context, that Wi-Fi system really wouldn't work. We have so many devices and to connect everything one by one, super inefficient. So let's talk about Wi-Fi 5 now. They added a few more features where you could finally talk to multiple devices at once, but maybe that was capped to about eight. So your Wi-Fi router or access point could talk to your phone, your TV, your computer, all at the same time, but there still were drawbacks. So let's talk about Wi-Fi 6 now. Taking that technology from Wi-Fi 5, they've completely changed it where you can actually talk to about 30 devices based on one access point or Wi-Fi router. So imagine at your home, right? You have your Wi-Fi router and that device can talk to 30 devices at one go, back and forth, back and forth. That means that TV doesn't have to wait for Peppa Pig to finish before it gets its data transmission. Now let's talk about some of the advantages of Wi-Fi 6. First one will be speed, because everyone's concerned about speed, right? How fast can I get my YouTube video? How fast can I stream 4K? Well, speed will increase for about up to three times. That's a pretty big jump, but that's not the most exciting part of Wi-Fi 6. So one of the ways Wi-Fi 6 improves on speed is it packs more data into the same signal. Think about it like a delivery truck, right? You have a delivery truck and that's your signal going out. Well, imagine in Wi-Fi 5, they were only packing uh, a small amount of boxes in that delivery truck to deliver the data to whatever device. In Wi-Fi 6, they're packing a lot more boxes into that full delivery truck. And once that's full, they send it out. Even though the trucks are going the same distances, they're actually carrying more data, resulting in a better speed that you'll notice on your devices. So let's now talk about low latency. Picture online gaming, right? That's super popular right now. Everyone's uh, playing their games online. Well, imagine you're on your PS5, right? And you're playing your game. You need a constant flow of data. Imagine upstairs, your father is streaming 4K and imagine your mom's watching some stuff on YouTube that's taken up a whole bunch of uh, bandwidth, right? Well, on Wi-Fi 5, that will be super, super slow. You're gonna be lagging on Wi-Fi 6 because it can handle more devices. Your device will always have that constant stream of data, so your gaming experience will completely improve. So that really stems into the second point, connecting more devices. So to give you an example, imagine you're at a cafe and there's 30 people around you and they're all connected to the same network, right? And they're surfing on their stuff, they're doing their own thing. Those connections on Wi-Fi 5 will be extremely slow. That's why sometimes when you're on a public Wi-Fi and they're still using the Wi-Fi 5 technology, it's super slow. Then you go off Wi-Fi and then you just try to find your signal again, right? 
So now imagine that same cafe on Wi-Fi 6, you have 30 people around you and they're all getting top-notch high quality speeds just straight to their devices because that router can talk to so many devices all at once. In the past, Wi-Fi devices at home would have only been about you know five devices. You have a phone here, you got your TV there. Not too many smart devices. Currently the norm is about nine devices. Uh, people are starting to integrate some more home automation inside. We got uh, smart kettles now, we got smart lights, smart aircon, blinds. So it's really estimated and realistic that people are gonna be adding more of these devices to their home network. So the estimate's around 50 devices in uh, just a couple of years. And the third point is interference. Interference is the, the worst, all right? So imagine you're at home again, you're on your device, and do you notice certain times of the day you get slower connection speeds? So imagine you just come home and you just, you know, want to go on Facebook or whatever. You notice your Wi-Fi speeds decrease significantly. Well, some people blame the ISPs, the internet service providers, and think that, oh, there's too many people on it and they're just slowing speeds down. Well, that's not always the case. So if you look at Wi-Fi signals, they're bouncing around everywhere. Just do me a favor, go onto your phone right now, go into settings, go into Wi-Fi, look at how many networks there are. If you're on Wi-Fi 5, all those signals are interfering with each other. Every time those signals interfere with each other, it really slows your internet right down. Wi-Fi 6 is actually smart enough to recognize all these signals, all these different signals that are passing through and just completely ignore them and then just communicate with your devices. This is really cool because just picture this, your whole house is filled with a rainbow of networks, right? So you got a lot of different colors. What if your router could only connect to a red color? Your devices are all connected to that red color and all the other colors are completely ignored. This feature is so key to having a seamless experience at home because you won't be cursing at your neighbors now saying, oh, stop using so much Wi-Fi. The fourth one will be extended battery life for your devices. Your device now connects to the internet, right? And it keeps connecting, keeps connecting. Well, Wi-Fi 6 is really, really smart it can know when your devices need connection and when they don't. Because of this new technology called target wake up time, it can tell when your devices need Wi-Fi and when they don't. So most of that time it can rest and then when you need connection, it'll send all that connection that you need. It's almost like those uh, energy conserving cars, right? So you're in the car, you're at a stoplight, you press the brake, you stop and the car turns off because it doesn't need to run. Once it goes green, car turns back on, and then you're good to go. This is also really cool for your battery life because speeds are faster. That means it doesn't take as long for the connection to get the data to your phone. So that means it can connect faster, it can connect when it needs to, so your device doesn't need to be on full power Wi-Fi connected all the time. And the fifth point, all of these Wi-Fi 6 access point to routers, they are backward compatible. So that means if you have a super, super old uh, device, it will still connect if that device has Wi-Fi enabled features. So that means you don't have to go out and buy specific Wi-Fi 6 devices to be able to use it with this Wi-Fi 6 router. So you should feel safe using it, right? You should feel like upgrading isn't a negative point because it has all these features, but it's not taking away from what you had in the past. Which brings us to, well, who is Wi-Fi 6 for? Wi-Fi 6 is for those of you who aren't satisfied with your current Wi-Fi network. Wi-Fi 6 is really for those of you who are into the latest technologies, who have plans of upgrading their uh, devices to Wi-Fi 6. And maybe for some of you who have your contract expiring soon and you need another plan, it's definitely faster. It'll save you battery life on your devices. It can connect with 
all of your previous devices, all that interference is really, really gonna cost you your speeds, really gonna take a toll onto your network. All right, so this is the Nighthawk MK62 mesh router system. And this is actually perfect for those of you who are into mesh. Asus, we got the AX3000, which you can also check out onto the VQuest website. Go into services, scroll down to home broadband, click that, scroll down till you see Wi-Fi 6. And there's a whole range of plans where you can choose from, which include different routers. So this is the one we were talking about just now, the uh, Netgear Nighthawk Mesh plan. And you can scroll up, go into eStore, where you can check out a whole range of Wi-Fi 6 routers. So just type in Wi-Fi 6 at the top, and you can see there's quite a few different setups you can get. So this is the AX1800. It's also a mesh system, which we were talking about just now. And remember that Asus one, this is the RT-AX58U AX3000. And I'll link everything in the description below so you can go check it out. Thanks for watching. See ya.